Hello, everyone, and welcome to Talk About It Tuesday, the short little snippet of time where we get to talk about all the things. All the things. This week, we're talking about baptism. Yep. I am George Ann, and this is Eric. I am Eric. We're your most exciting hosts. <laughs> I am? You are? We are. We are. All right, so this we've been in our Life Verse uh, series of messages, and we are deep into this thing. And this week we had a message from Josh all about baptism, which is very appropriate because what is coming up this weekend? Beach baptism. Yes, beach, beach baptism is going to happen this Sunday at 3 o'clock at the beach. What is the name of the beach? Jeunesse? Jeunesse. Okay, I couldn't remember it. Let's hope we're meeting there. It is, yes. I knew It was Hampton. We usually go to Hampton, but it's not at Hampton this time, no. so make a note of that. Right 3 o'clock at Jeunesse. So... Um, okay, let's start with a really simple question. What What is baptism? What is baptism? I cannot answer that within this five-minute video besides saying that it's Cliff a... Cliff Notes version. Cliff Noted, very mysterious thing that um, plenty of people disagree on what exactly is going on, but uh, in essence... It's a declaration of what Christ has done in us as uh, he is the one that's cleaning us and washing us new as we, as we co-crucify, as we, as we die with him and are raised with him to a new life as followers of our king. So. Perfect. And we here at Movement believe that baptism should be done uh, by immersion. Yes. And what does that mean? It means we put you all the way under and depending on who we bring you back up, that's what it means. So we have a little bit different experience. I was was actually sprinkled as a baby, mm -hmm. and um, but we're making a distinction here, or I should say, the Bible is making a distinction here because we're talking about making a decision for baptism after you have made a decision to follow Jesus, mm -hmm. right? So um, we you know, believe that this is the next step for you as you make a public profession of faith that you're going to be following Jesus for your life. So Josh gave us a bunch of reasons of why you should not be baptized. One of them was that you are deathly allergic to water. I couldn't help myself. I actually Googled that. There are 100 people known to be allergic to water. Sounds fake. I I don't know how you would live your life like that, but it's actually true. So uh, we, we, will, <laughs> we will not try to baptize you if you're allergic to water. No, okay. we, we will use a different liquid, I guess. It says alcohol-based liquid. Will, I don't know, we will, weird. We will baptize you. <laughs> we'll use that as alcohol. a standby. Um, okay, so, but um, I wanted to just share, I wanted us to share, uh, you know, a short version of our own baptism stories, because as I already said, we have quite different experiences. Um, so I, I began following Jesus as an adult, and uh, 12 years ago, and, um, you know, a lady sat down with me and shared the gospel, and this was on I still remember this picture in my head like it was yesterday. This was on a, a Wednesday night at church. And the following Sunday, I was baptized there at church. And so for me, it was really quick. But I realized for everybody, it doesn't happen that way. Um, so what about for you? Yeah, so I grew up a preacher's kid. So I grew up in the church. But it wasn't until early high school that things became real to me. And I was baptized in the summer at, at a church camp at Prairie States Christian Service Camp in Illinois. And, and little did I know that at that time, years later, Christ would still be working and calling and pursuing within me to go into ministry, and it's been a crazy ride. So you just hit on something there also that Josh said on Sunday is that the question is, do you have to have it all together to get baptized? No. Uh, will we ever have it all together? No. No. <laughs> so um, so th this you know, we're talking to you, whoever is on the other side of the screen there. If you are thinking about it and you feel God stirring in your heart, but you still have some questions, you can feel free to drop your comments here uh, on Facebook or on YouTube. Uh, one of us on the team will get back to you and answer any questions that you might have. It's only Tuesday, so you got a couple days still to make the decision. Heck, you could even decide 
a couple of minutes before we go out there, right? Yeah. Yeah, so um, we're here for you to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, I know for, for some people this, this might be a new or confusing topic. Some people might have been thinking about it for a long time. Whatever, uh, wherever you are in the journey, we're here to support you and help you answer any questions you might have. So do you want to add anything to that? No. All Hope right. See all you guys Sunday at the beach. Yep, Sunday, 3 o'clock, and uh, we are going to see you also Sunday for our, is it our last yeah. Life First? Special wow. Guest. Special guest for our last Life First uh, message on Sunday. And don't forget to join us here every Tuesday, 8 o'clock. You can catch up on all the messages and all the Talk About It Tuesday segments on YouTube or Facebook. And we are so thankful that you're joining us here. So we will see you next week. Have a good week.